Welcome to video 173, and in this video we've got a host of improvements to do to the gun scripts. Okay, some of the changes will be so that the NPC can use the guns, but others are more general improvements. So let's start with the gun master script, open that up. And inside of the gun event handler, I don't want it to be a vector 3 anymore. I want it to be a raycast hit now. I want more information to be supplied with this event. And the reason being, I want the, uh, the instantiation of the hit effects to be richer. Currently, they just get instantiated with any old rotation in the world. But what I want them to be now is normal to the surface that is struck by the bullets. So that will be, so basically the ray casting. And that will make it look like it, it's protruding out of whatever surface is struck. And that includes, uh, for example, terrain. Now, I also need to add a new event as well, and that is public delegate void gun NPC event handler, pass in float RND, meaning random, and then the next line, the event of that type of delegate, so public event gun NPC event handler, event NPC input, we'll write down a method below soon, but we've still got a bit more to do. So scroll down to call event a shot default. Okay, so it's showing us we need to change the parameters being passed in. So now it's a raycast hit. We just changed that up above. Good. So these are used for instantiating the hit effects, as I just mentioned, up above. Okay, now going down, we now have a brand new method to put in, and that is public void call event NPC input pass in float RAND rand. And I've just put in a comment there, call by NPC state range attack, which reminds me that I need to go to that script and uncomment that line. Uh, so if event NPC input is not equal to null, then event NPC input rand pass in that value. And that will be our event fired off. So let's save that. That's the gun master script uh, edited. So very simple. I changed that to a raycast hit for more richer information, added in a new event. Uh, change those uh, two uh, methods for the uh, shot default and shot enemy, and then put in a new method here. But we've still got lots more work to do, so let's get on to that. And don't worry about the errors, of course they're appearing, because we changed the uh, parameter, t parameter type from vector3 to raycast hit, so we've got work to do. Uh, but before I go anywhere, I want to uncomment that line in NPC state underscore range attack. Right now, inside of this uh, method, which is called try to attack, inside of there, I had said that if npc.rangeweapon.get component gun master is not equal to null, then we call that event. So that was npc.rangeweapon.get component gun master dot call event npc input, and then pass in npc dot range attack spread, which will become the randomness in the shooting. Okay, good. So we've got that one done now. All right, so now go to the gun scripts, and I'll start with the gun apply damage script. Okay, and you can see the uh, it's showing up as an error because this shouldn't be vector three anymore. Now it is raycast hit. Now I'm not done. This isn't enough anymore. The hit transform dot send message process damage. That's not enough. I need another line now. I have to be able to tell it because this can be in the hand of an NPC now and the player's health deduction is a bit different. I have added two new lines actually. So they are hit transform dot send message and that uh, method to call is call event player health deduction comma damage comma send message options dot don't require receiver. Then the next line I added was hit transform dot root dot send message. The method to call is set my attacker comma transform dot root comma send message options dot don't require receiver what is set my attacker for set my attacker is so that the uh, npc state investigate harm has something to go and investigate and the attacker uh, attacker's position can be given to the other NPCs around so they can go and have a look at this. That is what this is for. And it's another reason why I'm using uh, the Raycast hit. Well, I suppose that information is supplied with the hit transform anyway. So with that kind of information available, uh, now we can actually figure out who is doing, uh, who is attacking what. 
Okay, now I need to open the gun apply for script and change that from vector three to raycast hit. Okay, and that's good enough for the gun apply for script. All right, now open the gun hit effect script and there's a bit of work to do here. First of all, change these to uh, raycast hit. And then I'm going to replace this line of code. So delete that and put in two new lines of code. So this is inside of spawn default hit effect method. And that is quaternion quat angle is equal to quaternion dot look rotation hit position dot normal. And so what it'll do is it allow us to have uh, the um, hit particles instantiated in such a way that it's coming out. It looks like it's coming out normal to the surface of whatever was struck. So that's what's important here. And then we say instantiate default hit effect comma hit position dot point comma quat angle so that hit position is rich information from the raycast hit and we also use information from that to determine that angle as well which is quite important similarly in the spawn enemy hit effect method i will replace that line as well with two new lines so quaternion quat angle is equal to quaternion dot look rotation hit position dot normal then instantiate enemy hit effect comma hit position dot point comma quat angle all right so save that and that's all good next we need to edit the gun shoot script okay so there's a bit of work to do here i am going to remove this bit this bit of code inside of the open fire method so going to open fire inside of gun shoot delete all of that and add in this new code so that is if hit dot transform dot get component npc take damage is not equal to null then gunmaster dot call event shot enemy and pass in hit comma hit dot transform and the value hit of course is the raycast hit that we have defined above there raycast hit and that's what's used by that uh, method for calling that event and then also the transform of whatever was hit so hit dot transform else gunmaster.call event shot default pass in hit comma hit dot transform so now uh, anything with an npc take damage script that is struck will result in the uh, shot enemy hit particles being instantiated basically that's what will happen okay so that's enough for this script let's go back now we need to edit the gun muzzle flash script and here I will add a brand new method at the end. It is called void play muzzle flash for NPC and then pass and float dummy. Now, if muzzle flash is not equal to null, then muzzle flash dot play. Okay, now I need to subscribe, of course, up here. So gunmaster dot event NPC input plus equal play muzzle flash for npc because the npc will use that event npc input not the player and that's why i made a separate method here okay and also the corresponding unsubscribe in on disable so save that that's all good next i'll edit the gun sound script and in this too i will add a new method at the end and that is void npc play shoot sound again pass and float dummy because of the event it's going to subscribe to and then just call play shoot sound that method up here and that'll cause uh sound to play when the npc fires the gun okay now subscribe so gunmaster dot event npc input plus equal npc play shoot sound and of course the corresponding unsubscribe in the on disable method and that's that now the npc when they uh, shoot it'll result in sound being played okay and we want to also edit the gun animator script so at the very end add in a new method void npc play shoot animation once again pass in float dummy and then play shoot animation call that method all right so in on enable subscribe to the event so gunmaster dot event npc input plus equal npc play shoot animation and then on disable have the corresponding unsubscribe that's all good so that is all of the uh, gun scripts edited everything is now there except we're missing one big thing 
and that is the gun npc input script itself so we need uh, one new script for the gun that will attach on the gun and that is going to allow the npc to be able to make use of the gun whenever they attempt to do a range attack so now everything is in place it'll be all silently uh, there and working and uh, already uh, the uh, hit effects will be improved. You'll notice it more if you're using a proper type of particle effect which has like plumes of uh, smoke or something coming out of it. But you'll already be able to see that the way the sparks are behaving at least, they look uh, a lot more natural. See how they seem to be firing up away from the ground or away from whatever surface was shot. So that's the uh, basic improvement that we can already see at the moment. But uh, at the moment, the NPC still cannot use the weapon. We've got to write a new script to enable that to happen, and we've still got more work to do. Anyway, so thank you for watching, and keep on going onwards.